Back with your boy Pop on Putting On People Radio, Pop Radio Worldwide, on iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. Today is another lovely day. Uh, it's hump day, Wednesday, the middle of the week. You can't give up. You got to stay motivated. You got to keep going. Um, I got an iHeart comedy artist spotlight in the building. Let's make some motherfucking noise for Pancho G. Up in this Say what's up real quick, Pancho. Man, what up, y'all, man? What's good, man? We in the building, man. We out here from Las Vegas, from Chicago, man. We out here. Pancho G. You heard that from the West Coast to the Midwest. All the way, he working his way all the way around. So, uh, I just dropped. I, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody tuned in. Everybody supporting. Uh, even the Clubhouse app. I'm getting all this uh, love and interaction. So, I appreciate you guys. Um... So, let me give it up for you guys one time. Without you guys... Ah! This, is, this is a station, baby. And an iHeartRadio podcast that's by the people, for the people. So, I wouldn't be shit without the people. You know what I'm saying? So, also, I just dropped uh, two new shows. A Day in My Heels, hosted by Danielle Diamond. You need to check her out. Women Empowerment. And uh, a Men's Smart Stop. You know, if... You can put that together. We got Big Zamunda just launched a, sh a show as well. Uh, Comedy Hip Hop News. You need to check him out. Uh, everything is on the website, popradioworldwide.com. I also just dropped um, a video about and a vlog about Hassan Campbell has been missing since he opened his mouth and was talking about Mama Duck. You know what I'm saying? You haven't seen him on... Uh, social media dropping daily YouTube videos since he did that. You need it, you want my thoughts on that? Go to the video I just dropped. Also, in the same video, I'm talking about um, I'm gonna be on a uh, fatherhood uh, podcast uh, show ran by uh, Big Ups DJ EFM from Drink Champs. Uh, fatherhood is a show about. Um, your kids and you know uh, the uh, development of relationship with your kids and things of that nature. And everybody knows that knows me pretty well. I was gone for twenty years, so my daughter's relationship. If you want to hear about it and where it is now and how far it's come, and even what maybe she experienced while I was gone or I experienced the pain of not being able to be with her, check out that podcast. You're gonna want to stay in tune. Uh, I spoke a little bit about. On the last video, where I'm also talking about Noriega uh, opening and running his mouth, talking about in 1998, he was the hottest rapper in the game. I did my research. I spoke a little bit about that. You want to know what I'm talking about. You want to know what I'm, why I'm vlogging and what I'm vlogging about. Go to the last video. It's your boy, Prince of Pain. We're on Pop Radio Worldwide. I are Radio, Spotify Premium. We are with my boy. The iHeart Comedian Artist Spotlight of the Week, Pancho Motherfucker. Be right back, baby.
Well, if you don't get this shit nowhere else but putting on people radio, pop radio worldwide, iHeart Radio, Spotify Premium. Again, let's make some noise for my iHeart comedian artist spotlight of the motherfucking week, Pancho G in the motherfucking building, man. Pancho G in the building, baby. Pancho G in the building, baby. I'm going to get right to it, baby. First of all, check in with the people of Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and let them know your origins of where you checking in from, where you grew up at. Uh, yeah, pretty man, much. Man, I'm from Chicago, man. South Side, 75th King Drive, Gotti World in this bitch. Okay, okay. I live and I reside in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, you know, yes. Big Little in Las Vegas, man. They know who I am out there as far as the comedy scene, and I do it big out there as far as the comedy scene. Not just Vegas, but just all over, but I be representing Chicago, man. Chicago is where it is at, man. Salute to Real T, man, for Power 92, man, of Raw Radio TV. That linked us up while I was in Vegas, uh, and is always doing positive things. If you need credit repair, uh, help. Get with your boy Real T. That was a shameless plug if you ain't on the tail. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hell yeah, I fuck with my boy Real T. I love that man. I love that man. Um, okay, Chicago. So, um, who are some of your uh, influences, man, that, or maybe some of the times that inspired you to be a comedian? Man. Anybody from Chicago, I think Chicago got the greatest comedians in the world. So like Bernie Mac, Robin Harris, Damon Williams, all them the greats. You know what I'm saying? So Damon Williams from the shot. Oh, Damon Williams. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Damon, I was in a movie with Damon Williams. Yeah, that's one of my favorite artists, Jess Niece. Jess you know Niece, yeah, she was one of the first people I got to rock a mic with as well when I was on my poetry rampage. You know what I'm saying? When I was doing my spoken word, uh, Just Niece mm -hmm. took me out. This is a little funny story right here. She took me out to uh, perform out south somewhere. And um, Mike sat, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he heard me, right? He was like, he got up to do his comedy skit. And he was like, boy, did you hear that motherfucker up in here scaring every motherfucker with that voice? Woo -woo. <laughs> and we had gotten to a little, uh, a little uh, uh, argument that day. Yes, and, yeah, yeah, the <laughs> argument. Actually, it stopped the whole set. <laughs> Damn. But, man, we got cool as hell, man. It was just, you know, a miscommunication. And I was fresh home and didn't really, I think I got to be the bigger man. I apologize. I didn't really know how to take comedy too well mm -hmm. when they, you know, interact with you. You know, yeah. I was never really a jokester. So I took a little pers personal, you know, artists are sensitive about their shit. Yeah, they you feel? But salute, man. Mike Sapp is doing amazing things. Yeah, I love that, brother. Yes. Um... Okay, Bernie Mac, you know, that's a big name, right? Yeah. There, you know? Um who inspired you though to say, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, because I know it has to be very um exhilarating and nerve-wracking to even did you come up doing dur doing the stand-up game? No, nah, I, I was a stylist. Okay. I dress entertainers and a lot of celebrities and just regular people, they just like, man, you funny as hell, man. You need to Go on stage. Okay. And I just went on stage. I took like a year, like preparing myself to go on stage. Then I did a year of open mics. Then after the year of open mics, I just started doing shows. And then I did a national competition with Kenan Thompson. And that kind of put me on after that. Have you ever bombed on stage? Hell yeah, I yeah. bombed on stage okay. yeah. several times. If you ain't bombed, you ain't did it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, could you give uh, upcoming, while we're talking about bombing, a good ex learning experience and maybe a little advice to the upcoming comedians that might be able to help them and, you know, maybe, you know, are scared of even getting bombed? Man, you just got to take it, you know what I'm saying, and keep going and keep doing your shit. You know, they going to see it. Like, funny is funny. So if you f say you funny, you funny. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't no denying funny. Are there, um, you know how you got in the rap game, you got um, pretty much artist development, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are there artist development courses and classes for to do stand-up comedy? That's open mics. 
some open mics, just like an artist. A lot of artists skip that. You know what I mean? They just make some shit in the studio and put the shit out. You know, now they're another... Uh, a recording artist. <laughs> yeah, if you not get paid for comedy, you can say whatever you want to say. This, when you on a show, that's when you gotta stick to the script and just do your show, beginning, middle, end. That's it. Uh, what do you think about? Uh, I'm glad you said that because you know you weren't even thinking about doing comedy. You were styling people and so forth, mm -hmm. and then you got it. You took a year. To get prepared to yeah. you know go rock okay uh, to go rock a stage, so you know you actually you know um, did some preparing mm -hmm. and uh, got yeah, the guts started. up yeah. to go do the shit. Now, what do you think about you know how some rappers or think you know that got bars and are very ly lyrical or think some kind of way about rappers that are just harmonizing and stuff like that? So, what do you think about uh, some of the comedians? that are not stand-up comedies, did not go that route, and are using other platforms such as TikTok and doing skits to get their comedy on. Man, it's, that's cool and all, but for all them that say they comedians, they not really comedians. Ooh. A comedian is when you on stage and you in front of a hundred people and you really telling jokes. You could do all that TikTok shit and that shit, you would do that shit on stage, your ass would get laughed at. It's not the same. It's <laughs> not the same. Right. That's just like you go to the barbecue and everybody got a funny uncle, Uncle John and shit. And everybody love Uncle John jokes. But that nigga, when he go on stage, them uh, barbecue jokes don't work no more. Ooh, right. Okay. Uh, I got to ask you, uh, let, me, let me throw you off real quick, bro. David Chappelle or Kevin Hart? Shit, neither. Neither? Okay. Uh, Red Fox, Eddie Murphy? Both. Both. You can't do one, huh? <laughs> Okay. Let me give you three. Just You got to go only pick one. All right. Red Fox, Eddie Murphy, or Richard Pryor? I'm going to go Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Yeah. They're all great legends, man. They're and he's from Illinois. Peoria. Wow. So, any Midwest comedian is one of the greatest. Midwest Pete, we the greatest. You know, this stuff ain't easy, bro, uh, of performance, bro, and trying to make people laugh. Um, you know, they, there's it's like the strong one. Sometimes the strong one uh, needs a little bit leaning. You know, he needs to lean on somebody, too. He can't, you can't just lean on the strong one all the time. So my question to you, Pancho G, is has there been ever a time... Um, that you've had a show booked and you know you gotta go do the show. You've, you know, of course the business been has been done. You know you got paid and you gotta show up. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe something, maybe not tragic, a heartbreak. Uh, you weren't feeling so good. You lost somebody, and your job still. You had to go make people laugh, even though you weren't in the laughing uh, mood that day. Yeah, I mean. If, my, if people knew what I've been through, they'd be crying right now, man. Because I lost my whole immediate family, man. And I just lost a couple of uncles and aunties this year. So it's just like... Sorry, bro. Sorry to hear you that, know, bro. That's why, you know... Matter of fact, I just started doing comedy until after my mother passed. So after my mother passed, that's what made me get into comedy. Made me, like... That was my, like, my stress reliever. You know, they always talk about mental health and everything and all that. That's what I got into. I That's how you channeled your pain? Yeah, I saw I channeled my pain. That's how I got into it. Some people work out. Some people write raps and get in the studio. Some people do poetry. Some people do comedy. You know, that's pretty dope, man. So you lost yourself, uh, your pain, I want to say, by trying to give other people laughter. Yeah. Dope, man. Yeah. Dope, dope. Salute to you, man. Again, Pacho G is our iHeartRadio comedian of the week, man. Our artist spotlight, baby. Let's know. Uh, you want to give uh, the people of Pop Radio, man, and the listeners uh, some type of uh, motivating. You know, I'm all about positivity, prosperity moves, and making that motherfucking money. You yeah, know? I'm listening, man. And, uh, could you give us some, I, I'm going to get to some other things you got going on. You got a show. I do want to uh, let the people know where you're going to be at. But we can do that now. You got a show coming up. Is it tonight or tomorrow? No, we're going to do it tonight, man. Ooh. Leon Rogers. 
Bart Tech Thor. 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 Bart Tech uh, pull up, get a chair, man, get some laughter, you know? You don't know who's gonna be in that building. Yes. Okay, make some noise for that. That's tonight, y'all. Let's get it. Um, you also, um, jewelry company out there, right? Man, we gotta... We gotta talk about that. Man, I'm a partner with Vegas Custom Juries, man. We wow. out there in Las Vegas at the Fantastic swap Man, we got this shit popping right now. We just got Soldier Boy... And TK Kirkland, man, on our roster, man, for sponsoring us. And that's, that's why. That's big shit. That's big shit. So that's when they get their jury, man. That's, 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 that's OD shit. Money Game, man. For real. They get showing a lot of love. Soldier been bringing all his people to me. It's been a lot of love. Dope, 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 dope. Um, any shout outs, man, that you do want to, you know, send anybody who has, you know, been there when you weren't there. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to T, Vegas Custom Jewelry. Shout out to Sylvester. Shout out to Jack. Shout out to Real T. Shout out to Hypno Carlito. Hey, you know no. what I'm saying? We out here, man. This <laughs> Again, right now, tell all my people where they can follow you at. Man, follow me at Poncho G, the real Poncho MFG on Instagram, and just Google me at Poncho G, P O N C H O G. Artist Spotlight of the Week, man, our iHeartRadio Comedian Artist Spotlight of the Week. Make some noise, y'all. But Poncho G, baby. I'm gonna follow you, man. You know the spotlight, baby. Piss the pain. Pop Radio Online, iHeartRadio, Spotlight Radio. This is a television.